This is how to boost FPS and reduce input delay in the Fortnite Chapter 5. You can use these methods to get more FPS, fix FPS drops, reduce input latency, and boost FPS in the new Fortnite Chapter 5. These will work for all low-end, mid- and high-end PCs, as well as the Windows 10 and Windows 11, helping you optimize Fortnite for the best performance possible. So, let's dive into it. But quickly guys, if you want zero ping in any game that you play, then check out the Gear Up Booster from the link in the description, as it provides you with the optimal network routes, giving you zero ping and packet loss in every game. So go down into the description and download the Gear Up Booster now. Gear Up Booster is also used by many pro players in Fortnite, such as Asian Jeff, Day, and Miro, so you don't have to worry about being banned as well. Also, America has the largest Fortnite player base, making NA servers one of the most crowded servers in the world. So, Gear Up Booster will be more useful to American players than players from any other region. The very first thing that you want to do is go down into the description of this video and download the Fortnite Chapter 5 FPS pack from my website. The website does contain a few ads, so just skip them and download the pack. And once the pack has been downloaded, simply go ahead and extract it using 7-zip, Windor, or really whatever you want. Once the pack has been extracted, go ahead and open it up and in Inside of here, you will find a bunch of folders and settings. The very first thing to apply in this pack is to actually disable the user account controls. This is to make sure that all of the tweaks that we will be applying forward from now will be applied properly without any issues. So simply go ahead and double click on it, then hit yes and then hit ok. Once this has been applied, simply go ahead and restart your PC and then come back to follow along from here. Now that you have disabled the user account control, go ahead and open up the system restore point, then click on the drive where you have installed your windows and click on configure. Inside of here, turn on the system protection and set the max usage to around 5%. Then hit OK, then click on create and then go ahead and name it anything. I'm gonna go ahead and type in restore and then click on create. This is going to create a system restore point just in case that if you don't like any of these settings, you will always have an option to revert all of those changes back. So once the restore point has been successfully created, click close, hit OK and now we can move on to applying the tweaks. Then inside of the FPS pack, simply go ahead and double click on the basic optimization regedit.reg, hit yes and then hit OK. This is going to apply a bunch of window settings as well as additional settings inside of the reg Registry, giving you more FPS in Fortnite as well as any other game that you might play. If you want to check what's inside of this registry and the settings that it's going to be applying, simply right click on it, click on edit and inside of here we have named everything that is going to change from privacy settings to ease of access settings to account, gaming, personalization, system settings and all of that good stuff. Now you can close out of this and we're gonna be going ahead and moving on to the registry tweaks. So, so go ahead and open up the registry tweaks folder. The first one is the CPU speed, double click on it, hit yes and hit ok. This is going to optimize the CPU. So if you want to check out what's inside of it, click on edit and here is everything that you need to know. Then moving on to the disable game DVR1, double click, hit yes, hit ok and do the same thing for the disable game DVR2, hit yes, hit ok and this is going to completely disable the game bar giving you a bit of more performance as required. Then for the disable GPU energy driver, this is basically a service that is completely useless in modern days. So we're gonna be going ahead and disabling it. Double click on it, hit yes and then hit ok. As for the disable HDCP, this is going to go ahead and disable the HD content protection which I have made an in-depth video about so if you want to check it out go ahead and check it out on my channel. Simply double click on it, hit yes and then hit ok. For the spectre and meltdown once again I have made detailed videos about each of these settings but these are basically security protocols that are no longer required by the windows since most of the modern browsers come with spectre and meltdown patches built into them so they are no longer required. So simply double click on it, hit yes and then hit ok. As for the full screen fix this is going to make sure that all the games run in exclusive full screen giving you more FPS. Double click, hit yes and then hit ok. As for the memory management optimizations, this is going to make sure that the system page sizes and the pool page sizes are all completely optimized. So double click on it, hit yes and then hit ok. Moving back into the pack, go ahead and open up the batch tweaks. Inside of here, the first one are the drive tweaks inside of which there are two options. The first one is for the hard drives and the second one is for the SSDs. Now if you have your windows installed on a hard drive, then use this one. If you have your windows installed on an SSD, which is recommended just like me, then simply go ahead and right click on the SSD tweak, run it as administrator and that's it. Now you can go back into the pack and for the BCD tweaks, once again if you want to check out what's inside of any of these batch files or command files, simply right click on them, click on edit and inside of here you can see that this is going to be everything that is going to perform. It's going to disable dynamic tick as well as high precision event timer and any of the synthetic timers as well. So right click on it and then go ahead and run it as administrator, press any key to continue once done. As for the clear DNS cache, it's going to give you guys a little bit improvement in ping in any game that you play and an overall network optimization as well. 
well so simply right click run it as administrator once again press any key to continue then for the delete log files this is going to make sure that any of the windows log files that are just sitting there on your hard drive eating up space without any use they're going to be deleted through this cmd this is completely safe you don't need to worry about anything simply right click run it as administrator and this can take some time depending upon the number of log files that you have but it's going to make sure that each and every one of those that is accessible is actually deleted from the system once that is done go ahead and move on to the delete temporary files simply right click run it as administrator and then let it do its work press any key to continue for the disable HPET, although we have already disabled it, we're going to be going ahead and running this command once again just to make sure that this is actually turned off. Then for the disable memory compression, now in theory, enabling memory compression should be good as it would allow you to compress the memory for unused apps. However, in practical implementation, many of the services that are required by your games may be placed in the compressed session of the memory, which actually causes a lot of delays and lags inside of games. So that is why we are going to be going ahead and disabling the memory compression. Simply right click on the disable memory compression.cmd and and run it as administrator. Once done, press any key to continue. For the disable Naja link, this is actually a really popular algorithm that is recommended by many optimizers to be disabled for network optimization. So simply right click, run it as administrator and that's it for the disable process mitigations once again do the same thing right click run it as administrator and once it's done press any key to continue going back into the pack open up the gpu tweaks now for those of you guys who are running an amd gpu simply open up the amd settings copy all of these to your amd control panel and then use this amd gpu tweaks as for the intel users go ahead and open up intel settings and then just copy all of these settings onto your intel control panel finally for the nvidia users go ahead and open up nvidia settings go inside of the NVIDIA NVIDIA inspector then simply go ahead and drag the Regnetix NVIDIA profile onto the NVIDIA profile inspector now this is an updated version of my profile I have changed some of the settings regarding Fortnite and CS2 as well so simply go ahead and drag it onto the NVIDIA profile inspector once it has been successfully imported hit ok and that's it now you have the best NVIDIA settings for Fortnite chapter 5 go back into the folder and then finally go ahead and apply the NVIDIA GPU tweaks dot reg the reason we are applying this is because with each of the drivers update of NVIDIA it's going to reset some of these settings so that is the reason we keep applying these again and again with every new driver update so you can always go ahead and keep these two folders on your desktop or somewhere accessible so you can go ahead and apply these tweaks once again after you update to the latest drivers which by the way is my recommendation then going back into the pack and open up the power tweaks now inside of here once again I have also updated the request power plan and in order to import it you need to go ahead and double click on the import power plans dot dredge hit yes hit ok and now you should be able to see this little battery icon if you want already alongside the request power plan dot pow file once you see this you simply go ahead and double click on the pow file then open up power plans and inside of here under hide additional plans you should be able to see the request power plan simply go ahead and select it and that's it another thing to do inside of here is the disable power throttling double click hit yes hit ok make sure that you don't use this setting if you are on a laptop otherwise i highly recommend that you do this on a desktop pc moving back into the pack open up the disk tweaks and the credit for these tweaks actually goes to the corby tech on youtube simply go ahead and search up his channel and you can watch his videos too but basically inside of here what we will be doing is disabling the hyper boot for our ssds and hard drives so simply double click hit yes hit ok as for the hdd and ssd behavior changes now this one is important if you only have a hard drive installed on your pc then simply go ahead and use this command as well as this command but if you only have an ssd on your pc then use this command first and then this command first i'll show you how to use them as well but keep in mind that if you have a hard drive as well as a solid state drive on your pc then you may want to skip this one just like me then go ahead and open up the ssd nodes and inside of here are the four commands that you want to use if you have your windows installed on an ssd so in order to run these commands all you need to do is go down to your start menu and then search for cmd then run it as administrator and then just simply go ahead and copy these commands one by one and paste them onto your cmd just right click here hit enter and that's it now what you want to do is copy the other command paste it onto your cmd hit enter and it's been set as well then copy the third command paste it onto your cmd hit enter and finally for the fourth one simply go ahead and copy it as well and paste it onto the cmd and that's it none of these changes actually do require restarts because they are applied immediately so you don't need to worry about that now for the readme here are a few tips that you want to use if you are on an ssd the first thing actually i would like to add to this is to always install your operating system on the ssd this will not only allow you to have much faster boot times but also it will improve the overall performance 
performance of your windows also you should always clear up space on your ssd to help improve the performance getting a larger ssd can also increase the performance as it will not only provide you with better dram cache but it will also have more free space which again links to the first point that we talked about and the third thing is to don't defrag your ssds this is actually going to affect the lifespan of your ssd a lot so make sure that you never ever defrag your ssds and to ensure that the windows does not do this automatically simply go down to your start menu and then search for defrag then go ahead and open up defragment and optimize drives make sure that you click on the solid state drive that you have and then click on the turn off schedule optimization which in my case is already turned off now you can close out of this out of this as well go back into the pack and open up the cpu folder now inside of here open up the info text and you will see that you want to set the host controllers to number 0 1 or 2 and usb 3.0 is to the number 0 1 or 2 of your cpu now we are going to be going ahead and setting this inside of the interrupt affinity policy tool right here simply right click on it run it as administrator then go ahead and find all of those host controllers controllers as well as usb root hubs so for me i have found this usb root hub right here click on set mask and then just go ahead and set it to any one other than the cpu zero i would recommend to set it to the last one since i only have four cores i only have the option to set it to either cpu zero one two or three i'm gonna go ahead and set it to cpu three but if you have more cores then make sure that you set them to something like cpu four or cpu five then hit OK. It will ask that your changes will not affect until the device is restarted. Would you like to attempt to restart the device now? Click on No hit OK and it will now take effect when you restart your system. Another thing to do is actually go ahead and click on your NVIDIA GPU or AMD GPU or any GPU that you are using. Then click on set mask and set it to something like CPU 2. Hit OK. Hit OK once again. No. OK. And there will be a lot of error pop-ups. Just simply go ahead and click on OK, OK and get through them. They're completely fine. Then clicking on the generic USB hub. Once again, set mask, set it to CPU 3, hit OK no okay and basically just go through all of the usb devices as well as your graphics card and unload them onto other cpu cores other than the cpu zero because cpu zero will be utilized for your game but once you are done simply click on done and now on the next startup all of these changes will actually take effect going back into the pack go ahead and open up the reg keyboard mouse settings and inside of here for the keyboard settings open it up for the keyboard search bar repeat delay should be set to none and we are going to be going ahead and applying these changes by going into the keyboard settings so open up your start menu search for keyboard open up the keyboard settings the repeat delay should be set to short repeat rate should be set to fast and then click on ok now if you're using a keyboard that comes with a software simply go ahead and open up that software for me it's my yunzi driver software and inside of the software go ahead and open up the lighting settings and then just make sure that you set these lightings to off and that's basically it now you can close out of this you can close out of this as well as for the mouse settings once again you need to go inside of the mouse settings so open up your start menu search for mouse then click on change mouse pointer display and then just go into the mouse settings and pointer options make sure that this slider is on the sixth dot right here and also make sure that the enable pointer precision is unchecked once you have done that go inside of the pointers and make sure that this scheme is set to none for me for the recording purposes i'm gonna go ahead and keep it on this and once you have done that click on ok then moving on to the mouse software as well open up the start menu once again and search for your mouse software for me it's the red dragon gaming mouse software now these settings inside of the mouse software itself are really crucial if you want to optimize your mouse input delay the first one is to actually go ahead and disable your rgb on your mouse this can actually help a lot with a lot of cheaper mouses as well for reducing the input delay the other thing that you want to do is go inside of the dpi and make sure that your polling rate or it's called report rate in some cases it's set to the highest that should be 1000 hertz for most of you guys so make sure that it is set to the highest and also make sure that your dpi is set to 1600 for some reason setting the dpi to 1600 gives you the lowest mouse input delay so that is the reason i recommend it to set it to 1600 dpi then you can go ahead and hit ok and everything should be applied now you can close out of the mouse text as well open up the registry and inside of here there are a lot of settings related to the mouse and keyboard simply go ahead and just apply them one by one so disable the searching hit yes hit ok then disable prefetch then disable startup delay disable the hover time hit yes hit ok keyboard QE sizes setting it to 30 same thing for the mouse QE size menu show delay once again hit yes hit ok and as for the mouse fix double click hit yes hit ok this one is actually the most commonly used registry file related to mouse input delay so that's why it's here as well then going back into the pack once more go ahead and open up the unpack cpu app right click on the unpack cpu.exe and run it as administrator this is going to ensure that all of the cpu cores are unpacked and none of them are slacking off so once this opens up 
up, click on unpack all, hit OK, apply, OK and now you can close out of this. Going back into the pack one final time and this time go ahead and right click on the device cleanup.txe, run it as administrator and then click on the first one then hold control on your keyboard and press A to select all and then click the delete key on your keyboard to delete all of these devices that are not present right now that were once connected to your PC. They are no longer required so their registry entries need to be cleaned up as well. Then moving on to the MSI Utility V3, simply right click, run it as administrator and inside of here the only thing that I would recommend is setting your GPU to the MSI mode if it does say MSI under the supported modes. Then for the interrupt priority, just go ahead and set it to undefined. Make sure that the MSI box is checked, hit apply, close out of this and now you can go ahead and restart your PC. The only thing remaining inside of here is actually for the Epic Games launcher itself and these are the command lines you you should be using for the Fortnite. I'm sure all of you already know how to use these commands inside of the Epic Games Launcher for Fortnite. I have already shown it in my previous video as well so I'm not gonna go ahead and bother you guys with that once again. Just make sure that you use all three of these commands. Land play will help you improve ping, no splash will actually remove the splash screen and use all available codes will help you get more FPS in the new Fortnite Chapter 5. But now that you are done here go ahead and check out this video to get even more FPS in Fortnite by optimizing even more settings.